COVID. COVID-19 is, of course, the um, strange epidemic that swept across the world from 2019 um, and paralyzed much of life. And here I just want to talk about one tiny sub-aspect of it, which is my own experience of COVID. I didn't catch COVID, Sarah and I didn't catch it until right after the main wave was over and a new variant, much more infectious, but much milder, had uh, come in. So after about two years of uh, lockdown, we had a week of a, a serious kind of um, cold, and that was about it. Um, so we were very, very fortunate. And we were also very fortunate in our circumstances. For many people, obviously, it was terrible. I mean, many, many, many thousands died. Um, many thousands and millions of lives were dislocated in all sorts of ways. So it was a, an appalling epidemic, though not as lethal as one or two illnesses in history before as a proportion of the population like bubonic plague or the influenza epidemic of 1917-18. But it, it was bad enough. But for myself, um, I found it um, palatable, partly because I was already long retired, so there was no pressure of my work and so on, partly because I, uh, we have a large library and in a barn, um, a cool house and a quite a big garden, uh, an acre or so, which we allowed to go wild. And so we watched the trees and we watched the grasses and could walk around even when we weren't allowed to go out of our premises, unlike many, many people. We had enough space to actually exercise and feel some relief. So physically, it was fine. Socially, it was fine because of the development of new communications, um, because of Zoom and emails. We kept in touch with friends. And it was one of the strange benefits of COVID that um, I actually managed to find a number of new friends. People wrote about various things and one had the time and inclination to reply and formed three or four really good new friendships. And one of them, which was a direct benefit of COVID, was with a philosopher, Richard Marshall, and he decided to do a little interview of me. He'd already done 450 interviews of philosophers uh, and set up a website, 316 AM, but what was meant to be an hour or two of interview turned into about 36 hours. So uh, COVID conversations, um, understandings of the world, is a book which arose from that and many, many uh, sections are on the internet. And that would never have happened uh, without COVID and without the internet and Zoom. And so in that respect, it was very fruitful. And also somehow perhaps the thought of at any time one might die or, or stop being able to work properly uh, spurred me on. And so during those two years or so of lockdown, I wrote three or four more books analyzing my autobiography and deepening it with a book on Japan. And so in terms of creativity and writing, it was one of the most fruitful of my life. And so when people ask me, how was your COVID experience? I say, well, uh, deeply sad for the world and for my friends and other people. But at a personal level, it was perhaps the most creative and in a strange way, one of the most enjoyable periods of my life because among other things, being shut away all the time with Sarah, with whom I'd worked very closely for years, 
strengthened our relationship and we became even closer because we were the only people who could communicate with each other. So it enriched my life and now we're coming out of it. There are times when I wonder what to do and where to go because there is more freedom again. So uh, I wouldn't want, to, if I'd been asked whether I would like to have, go through it, I'd obviously say no, but it wasn't entirely bad.